Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of South Jersey Fishing. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Missile Baits uh, D-Bomb, the regular size, not the baby. And before I start this video, if you guys have Instagram, definitely go check out Missile under Missile Baits and also Missile Jigs. Go give them a quick follow. I want to give them a shout out for putting me on their Instagram page. So go like that photo and let's hop into it. Now for the rod, the reel, and line, what I would suggest is the Abu Garcia Revo SX in a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio. And then I have my Abu Garcia Ritas 2.0 rod in a 6 foot 6 uh, medium heavy. And now I'm going to show you how to rig this. I have my little stash right here. And what I like to do, I have a little 1 8 ounce weight. And you could peg this if you want, but I'm not going to peg this right now. So what you want to do is get your line and your weight and just thread your line right through the weight. I'm just, I'm using a lead weight just to save a little, just to save a little money on it. You don't need to buy tungsten and spend a whole lot of money. I have my Gamagatsu Offset Shank Worm Hook. It's an extra wide gap hook and a 4 rot And how I like to rig it is I have... I'm just going to tie on the regular polymer knot. Which you go through like that. Then you make a little overhand knot. And you I usually keep my pinky right um there so the line doesn't go through and it already cinches down before you get your uh, line through the back of the hook. Now what you want to do is bring your line back up and just pull it real hard so it doesn't end up slipping and then what you're going to do is get your multi-tool or your knife or pliers or braid cutters and just cut your excess line off and this is what your finished product is going to look like with the weight and the hook now now I'm going to put on the D-bomb so now that I have the D-bombs, I'm going to show you how I rig it on there. Okay, just get my hook and your, just get your hook. And what I like to do is hook it right in the middle. Go down until you can't see where it goes straight anymore. Pull it out, thread it up there, and then you're going to line your hook up with the D bomb. Make sure it's straight. And that's what your finished product should look like. Going to have, and that's what it's going to look like. And my favorite color to use for this is. Uh, black and blue flash or bruiser flash and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the water now I'm going to show you guys what the finished product looks like in the water so you can see it just hops nice I like it because it's like a beaver style it is a beaver style bait so I will use this around grass and stuff like that closer up So as you can see, I can really like this because the, especially because of its little flippers right there. Those are very nice. And also kind of feel the flippers kicking. And I would really recommend just Texas rigging it just like this. I, what I do also sometimes do is I put it on a jig and use it as a trailer. I cut it down a little bit 
or I will offer, or I will buy um the baby D bomb, and that works fine too. But I like the full size bear just to get some bigger bites. So this is my review on the missile baits D bomb. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, go buy some of their products and go give them a like on Instagram and follow. And yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on South Jersey Fishing.